traffic heading into Kentucky at a crawl tonight. Look at this. You would think the Bengals game is here at home. Uh, Friday's fire on the 471 Big Mac Bridge still a nightmare for drivers. Yeah, and what was a 10 minute commute taking some drivers up to two hours and so far no end in sight for the headaches on the road. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick investigates what we're learning about the fire that sparked it all and whether a warning from the Federal Highway Administration was disregarded. Under the I-71 bridge, echoes of the fire ripple along the riverfront. Speaking even louder is the sight of those digging for answers. A team from the Federal Highway Administration has arrived to a scene they've seen before. It's a huge, huge fire. 2017 Atlanta fire underneath I-85 actually collapsed the bridge there. And just last year, another fire under a bridge on I-10 in Los Angeles. Both so devastating, the FHA sent out a memo last November warning this, again, raises serious concerns about storing materials, including flammable, explosive, or hazardous materials under bridges. Is it safe to say this is gonna run into the millions of dollars? I would say that's probably a good guess. ODOT spokesman Matt Bruning said today they had been removing materials for some time. We found items like semi-trailers, dumpsters, construction materials. Bruning sent pictures of the storage problems in the Los Angeles fire. This is what they were looking for. Bruning said, we did not anticipate a well-maintained playground in a city park would fit into that same category. But given the amount of material under the bridge in the form of that playset, should they have seen that as a red flag? That is an answer they do not have yet, but they say they're working to get. After a fire that for the Federal Highway Administration is a deja vu disaster. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.